Man, I drank so much coffee, I'm feeling it. I'm like, yeah, man, yo, check out this. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nathan. Hey, and I'm Doug. And this is Bud K by Request. This show is made up by you, and it is growing, guys, because last week we had a great show about myths, myths and superstitions on knives. You guys commented out the wazoo. I mean, I love seeing all the comments flowing in. The conversations were great. Uh, we just had a lot of activity about it. It was awesome. We had a lot of fun yeah, with it. We did. We had a blast. We did. In fact, we just wanted to highlight one person, Anthony Does Stuff. He actually had a really interesting question about... Uh, about our demos like have we ever broken a knife during a demo yeah yeah that's actually a really good question and the truth is honestly yeah we break knives during demos all the time but that's because part of our role here is not just to make product videos we're also uh, quality control right so we will push the knives intentionally and abuse that's them right. beyond what they're made to handle to see where the breaking point is. Right. We want to make sure that what we're saying, it's almost like the final gap. These things have been tested already once, and right. we're sort of like the second time that these things are running through. We want to show and prove that what we're saying on these knives is actually accurate. That's basically a really great question. Anthony, stuff, stuff here is your picture here. He can win either the fixed blade or the folder. It's sort of his choice. And it's it ironic because that's what we're talking about that's today. That's right, exactly. You know, today's topic, we wanted to have a conversation about which is better for an EDC, an everyday carry, a fixed blade knife or a folding knife. So I think maybe um, before we get into the different applications, let's just talk about a couple of quick pros and cons. I'm going to play... Today, I'll play the fixed blade uh, team, and you play the folder team. Okay, that and, sounds good to and me. And we'll talk about, we'll just we'll hash it out. That sounds good. So, why don't you go first? What's, what's a pro? Okay, here's a pro. Obviously, this is sort of like one that's just obvious, that the folder is obviously more discreet. And, that's true. And basically, you know, it's actually more legal. That's and right, so, yeah. And so, the thing is, is that the folding knife, you know, that's why everybody carries one. In fact, you know, I've got one right here. I mean... This is my... E Current today EDC September Wolf, and I'm, it's a folder. I noticed that you're carrying a folder today. Yeah, I'm arguing for the fixed blade. but yeah. I carry I carry a folder. Yeah. yeah. Now I do have fixed blades. Um, I don't necessarily do an EDC for a fixed blade every day, but but the thing is uh, that's that's the thing. Folders, you see, this is what you see for EDCs almost nine out of ten times. Definitely, definitely. Of course, that's but my statistic. But we're, yeah. we're down here in South Georgia, so I see a lot of guys that have, that's you know, true. they're wearing camo. You can tell these guys are hunters, that's things true. like that. Okay, so you said it's it's more legal, and you're, you, the truth is you're less likely to get hassled if you've got a little it's more discreet. folding knife. Because mm -hmm. the other day I was getting my, uh, I was getting a new Social Security card because I lost mine in the fire. Right. And um, I was looked up, and I saw, like, the no knife sign in the government building, and, I, and I've got the knife <laughs> in my pocket. Nobody messed with me. But if you had this thing strapped to your hip, yeah, yeah. But, okay. They're going to they're gonna call you out on it. They're going to call you out mm -hmm. on it. But this joker has no moving parts. So whereas, ah, that's whereas true. His, his is opening and closing. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a moving component here. You got to keep it oiled. Yep. You get dirt in there, so you got to like, mention take this it is apart. this is an assisted open, so it's got the assisted open mechanism. So like makes you're it, saying, if I, if it gets dirty in here, I got to clean it out, take it apart. I might mess it up. It makes it even more complicated. Mm -hmm. So that's that's one pro to having a fixed blade. Yep. I can think of a con right off the bat. Honestly, the the biggest problem that I would have is that if you're going to carry a fixed blade, you have to have a sheath. Yes. Um, it, with a folding knife, as long as you have a pocket clip, you can clip no it in your pocket. No sheath on this guy. And even if it didn't have a pocket clip, you can just drop it in your pocket and you've got the knife, you know. I mean, that's not to say that you don't need time. to have a sheath. Or you don't, if you want the sheath, you can carry it in a sheath. Yeah. You know, we've got sheaths that carry knives of this size. That's true. But that is that's a, true. you have to have a sheath. This one comes with a sheath. I mean, this one obviously doesn't, doesn't need it. It's got the pocket clip associated right. with it. Right. But, you know, you don't see fixed blades with a pocket clip. That's just that's just ridiculous. That would be that would be pretty funny. We should sell one. <laughs> no way. No, we're not gonna sell a fixed we're, blade. Alright, I'm gonna with talk just to, a pocket clip. I'm gonna talk to product development. We're gonna get a <laughs> we're gonna get a pocket clip put on this knife for you guys and you know No, you're ready to go. no, 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 no. Yeah. Let's take a moment here and uh, you guys know that we're Snapchatting now. What? So yes, Snapchat? we are Snapchat. Tell me more about this. Nathan. Well, let me tell you, we are Snapchatting. We have a couple of pictures we want to show here from this past week of people who have sent us some pics. This one guy here this is how uh, you enjoy Bud K to the fullest. Dude, just, this guy has got a <laughs> he's sweet setup. He's got the max setup. setup. It's like awesome. With the two, I mean, next up you got the, uh, I believe that's a sabotage spear. Oh, and he's yeah. got a new sabotage. Wow. This guy actually sent us a, a second shot. Uh, he, this was his second purchase, I believe. Okay. He actually had one. I mean, he's just wearing this like around. 
And the, dude, this guy with the knife in the floor. That's hardcore. That, that dude is, is hardcore. That dude is scary. Yeah, guys, you, uh, we're Snapchatting. How um, do you, is it, I'm sorry. Do, no, go ahead. Do you have wood under the carpet? Or like, did you What is that, that going into? Yeah. Because yeah. like, we have concrete under our floor. We could, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, that part goes sort of with the myth that we were having. Did, that, did your knife fall off of a table and stick in the ground? <laughs> stick in the ground. It's bad luck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Guys, keep Snapchatting with us. Keep, you know, add your friends, let them know what's going on. Uh, we just did a Snapchat uh, right before the show. You know, we try to do it throughout the week. So if you want to see what our week is like, Snapchat's the way to go. Yeah, if you want to see what's going on at Bud K on a day to day basis, yeah. we're going to be sharing that. And now, and speaking of share, if you want to win a shameless plug, the best way to do is to talk to us. Share, like, comment. These are the top people who will win <laughs> shameless plug. Hey, a good benefit to being our friend is you get free stuff. You get free so, stuff. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So. Definitely Now, not. okay, here's a con for the folder, though. This folder can nowhere near handle the amount of stuff that that fixed blade can handle. This thing is a beast, and yeah. it's full tang. You see, I mean, what is that? Maybe like an eighth of an inch Maybe thick? a quarter of an inch, to be Maybe honest. That's huge. Quarter of an inch, yeah. and, and it goes, you know, the full length. So you're going to have to have the metal itself fail for this to break. Right. And this thing here, we obviously have a breaking point where it opens and closes. Uh, and then, of course, we already talked about the mechanism in there. But obviously, this can't handle, and it's not as durable as that guy is. That's true. Yeah. You know what? And something else about a fixed blade knife, Nathan mentioned this earlier today. Whenever you see somebody carrying a big bowie knife on their side, do you ever feel like they're compensating for something? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got to kind of question that. I mean, But the thing is, though, the people who do typically tend to carry fixed blades have a specific reason to see, carry it. And a that's hunter, a fisherman. Yeah. And it's also, also usually a specific type of fixed blade. See, and this is, this is, this is our conclusion. I, I think I speak for both of us when I say that Really, there's no right or wrong answer to this. It really no, just depends on what your application yeah. is. Well, application is very subjective. You might just like to carry a fixed blade knife around. Maybe you'd, you would rather not have a gun and have the responsibility that comes with that. Instead, you'd like to have just a big fixed blade knife. You know, the interesting aspect of researching for this today's show, I actually read how a lot of people would probably prefer to carry a fixed blade around, but because of the fact they might get called out on it, because of the fact that it might actually be illegal wherever they are at, mm -hmm. they don't. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> I don't know, like, I just, it, it, it would be a good conversation starter, but it's a conversation I don't really want to have. I mean, if you're carrying a big knife like that, people are going to take notice. They're going to stop you. Yeah. But the thing is, though, here's one, this might be a happy medium. The smaller version fixed blade knife, like a neck knife or a boot knife, Something that actually is smaller than this. I mean, you, we have knives that are fixed blades that are smaller than this guy here. That's true. And obviously, they have a sheath uh, that can obviously be discreet. The sheath might actually have a pocket clip on it. And, you know, those might be a very happy medium because the thing is, is that mm. we've been talking about the durability of the folder and how we have a, a potential breaking point here. Well, if you have a fixed blade knife and it's a smaller version. You don't have a fell point. You don't have yeah. a fell point, and it might be full tang. And not it's only true. that, it's got the smaller aspect about being precise with it. So, you you know. Yeah, if you've got that thing in a boot. It um, might be a heavy medium. I don't know. People aren't going to see it, but it's well, you know, one solid piece of steel. Yeah. It's a smaller blade. I mean, yeah, maybe that's the way to go. But, you know, TSA, man, if they oh, catch, you, word, catch yeah. you that thing, you'll, you know, somebody's going to buy it at a discount. Yeah, exactly, because, you know, they're just going to resell well, it anyway. You were having so. a conversation with somebody the other day. My cousin. Your cousin? Yeah, I had a cousin who, I was like, hey, man, what are you carrying today? Because I know he, he loves knives. He carries them all the time. And he just would say, he's like, yeah, it's an automatic. I'm like, dude, where did you get that? He goes, I got it from TSA. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, they probably have stopped, like, not a single terrorist attack. Oh, my word. But they, they have made a killing off of confiscating everybody's stuff. Yeah, exactly. Man, I'll tell you, there's just so many different avenues that you can go in for a folder or a fixed blade and uh, i'd love to hear y'all's got your comments your suggestions your photos uh you know snapchat us or if you wanted to do something along that line we have a lot of different options and of course you know if your comment your uh picture shows up on the show you have the ability to win a shameless plug i'm really noticing that the lights are much hotter today are you feeling the are you feeling no the... actually i'm feeling fine really i'm not even, yeah i'm feeling i'm great. feeling a little bit of a little bit of, of sweat. Maybe it's because I've moved over and I'm not eating meat anymore. Sweat on the brow. A little, a little bit of... And no. it's, I'm also drinking hot coffee. So though. am I, though. I came from the same pot. Oh, that's true. <laughs>